Hello everyone listening, so I got some questions about the side effects of type 2 diabetes medication and my experiences with them, so I'm going to talk a bit about that today. Um, I'll say again that these prescription drugs that doctors are putting on us a lot of times has some negative, negative effects. I mean, they're doing it because they feel like there's more positives in it for us than negatives, but here are the negatives. Okay, this one's for first. We're gonna start with metformin or glucophage. Now, I had some serious issues with this one, but I'll just read these off for now. Um, some of the side effects are nausea, vomiting, stomach upset, diarrhea, weakness, a metallic taste in the mouth, also may occur, and any stomach symptoms that occur after the first days of your treatment could be a sign of lactic acidosis which is a problem. I mean, this, this, this issue can sometimes be fatal. If that happens, then you certainly need to follow up with your doctor. The good thing about metformin, though, is that it doesn't usually cause low blood sugar, although it can. Now, in my use of metformin, it was, um, didn't make me feel good. After, after a couple of weeks, I swear, I just couldn't take it. And it took it took a few days, maybe even a week, for it to really settle in for me to really start feeling that um, upset stomach, and I was kind of nauseous at times. Um, I just, I just hated being on it. I just absolutely hated being on it, and I'm glad and happy that I don't have to be on it anymore. Um, it's pretty easy to actually get off of it, but um, certainly more, more. Uh, That's the most expensive way. <laughs> to try to manage your blood glucose levels, but if it's working for you, keep at it. Although I'll explain to you what I did to get off of it um, right after we go over the next medication. So here's the next one. This is diabetes chlorpropamide. I'm sure I slaughtered that name, but that's the other major medication that they'll use to, uh, to manage blood glucose levels for type 2 diabetics around the world. Um, this one can have an allergic reaction, and that allergic reaction manifests itself as hives, difficulty breathing, swelling of your face, lips, tongue, or throat. And here's the symptom that I don't like, the hypoglycemia, the low blood sugar. And of course, low blood sugar is the typical stuff. Headache, hunger, weakness, sweating, tremors, irritability, trouble concentrating, rapid breathing, fast heartbeat, fainting, or seizure. And I've had all those issues with hypoglycemia. And the issue for me... I think when it comes to type 2 medication and, and, and this medication and why I would suggest trying to get off of it if you can, is that it creates this state where you got to feed your medication. And a lot of type 2 diabetics need to lose weight, have other health problems, and anytime you got to eat to support your medication, it's just, it's just buffoonery when you really think about it. It's so stupid. I know buffoonery is not a word. All right, but I say it anyway. So it's just dumb from that level. Like I, I, I remember being on all, all that insulin that I'm not on now, and having to consistently eat to support it, and tell my doctor, and she keeps telling me, just keep eating, just keep eating, just keep eating, and it's like I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. I want to lose weight. I want to be in better shape. I don't want to just keep feeding medication. So, anyways, I got off of both these. Um, I never took diabetes, but I got off of that insulin and metformin, and I can say it wasn't even that hard. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. There was this fantastic video series done by this guy named Mike Donovan, and I'll put a link to it, but you got to sign up to his email list, and like he'll send out daily videos, and I swear, if you just apply those steps, it will be the catalyst to getting you off all these medications with all these crazy crazy side effects. So I'll put a link out there. Um, and again, you got to do something to manage your sugars. You got to do something. If if if, if you want to stay on the, the medication, uh, go for it. But I, I just found better ways to deal with it. Um, of course, we're all different. You know how health is. Nothing, no one thing works for everybody. But, but fortunately, in type 2 diabetes, this is one thing that 90% of the cases we can rectify and without even doing a whole lot of exercise and all this other crazy stuff so check out the link hope that helped